Welcome to TRS Clips, India's fastest learning portal. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon. In 2015, I got given a USB stick through a friend of mine about just these, um, saying that somebody's died on board and these are his photos. And it was essentially a three month filming process of an Indonesian worker being slowly killed on board by his captain, by physical torture. Why? Just he was a... So there's there's a there's a theory that is that working at sea is so arduous that you have to maintain a control. And violence on a couple of crew members who are new is a way for the captain to tell the others that this can be your fate as well. So there's a lot of nasty stuff that happens. And this guy essentially used to be prodded with an electric cattle prodder, given electric shocks, passed out. His knees were capped off with a fishing knife. God. He was beaten and jumped on till he passed on. He was thrown off a deck. And he ultimately died because his body couldn't take it. So, you know, that's murky where you see a man who left. I went to Indonesia and met his family and stuff like that as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and this is very common. There's the accidents that happen, but then there's deliberate killing of people that happens as well. And it just happened that this guy's body was going to be tossed into the ocean. But that fishing trip, another fisher had a fishing accident where the fishing hook caught him and he went overboard and he died. And so it's considered that if he had come back with two crew members missing, it would have been too much and would have raised one crew member missing is okay. Everybody turns a little bit of a blind eye. Really? So he said, I have to bring this guy back. So they packed his emaciated dead body into a body bag, put it in the fishing freezer and bought it to Taiwan. Where one of the crew members was just like, what have I experienced? I have experienced torture of a new crew member for three months until he's died. And the other one has just fallen overboard and everybody went looking for him. So he, through his sources, just sent out this USB stick because he had been filming it on his phone. What the fuck? Fishing hooks in the head, bleeding everywhere. Like really, really dark and murky stuff. Why didn't they go after that guy who fell off? Because their fishing gear was out and it would have meant cutting the fishing gear and turning the ship around. And if you lose that fishing gear, as I said, fishing trips are three, four years. You don't carry that much extra gear. So it would have meant wasting gear and having to actually save a man's life. A morbid question, but yeah. when he's floating out there, how do you think he would have passed away? Just out of hunger and thirst? Because I've read that a lot of people who are lost out at sea, eventually the theory says that they get eaten by reef sharks. Like, that's one of the believed theories. Do you think that's true? Like, if you're just out at sea... You... Not by reef sharks, because reef sharks will be, be around reefs. But tigers, tiger sharks, great white sharks... They uh, eventually find Makos, you. Makos, these are like predator ships. Which, uh, they'd probably kill you. Barracudas as well. Like, they'd probably come and take a chomp off you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, most likely dehydration and tiredness. Because Have you ever seen any dead bodies just floating around in the ocean? On no, your terms. No, not no. really. But again, I've seen a lot of videos and stuff like that. Like, like there's this video. In fact, Ian went after this story. Not, not Ian. Another investigative journalist went after this story. Where there was a Chinese fishing boat just shooting dead four Somalians in the water. These Somalians were fishermen and they thought they were pirates. So they just bought out this gun. And it's captured on video where he's like taking pot shots at them from the ship. And because he's never fired a gun before, they don't kill in one shot. So he shoots somebody's shoulder, then he shoots somebody's head. And everybody's oh, like cheering him on. And ultimately, all four are dead. And they're just exploding heads in the water. So like, there's a lot of murky stuff that happens. And people tell these stories like, they'll be like, yeah, I met this friend. His backbone was broken on the ship. So they chucked his body. Somebody else will say, I went to join a ship in Pacific. But I was working off Somalia for four years. I've killed pirates and stuff like that and just come home last week. Uh -huh. like there's wild stories that come out from human endurance at sea under working conditions. Have you heard any alien stories? UFOs, <laughs> things like that? <laughs> I haven't. Because that's another really, theme yeah. of this podcast. In <laughs> fact, when you were talking about a man-eating tiger, I was thinking about the arrival. Have you seen the arrival? Yeah, yeah, we spoke about I it. I thought about it, like when they go in for the first time and they're yeah. like, what are you with the birds and all? <laughs> I felt like you were describing that scene. Yeah.